Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. June marks the first month of our 3D creation. In this challenge, our units is in inches. In addition, notice as we project a plane at the middle, our model is symmetrical on both sides. And clearly, in this challenge, we can utilize the mirror command. Let's now head back to Fusion 360, head to Document Settings, Change Active Units. Under Unit Type, let's change this to Inch, selecting OK. Let's grab our Rectangle tool. I'm going to hit R on my keyboard. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Let's select our XZ plane, which is this one. Left click. In addition, I want the center of our rectangle to be at the origin. So let's change our rectangle type to center rectangle. Let's drop our center point at the origin. Left click here. For the height, which is highlighted in blue, I'm going to key in 2.25. I'm going to hit tab on our keyboard and key in 2. Hitting enter. Next, let's turn this profile into 3D. Let's head to home view. And I'm going to hit E for extrude. Profile selected. Let's grab this arrow to give this a height. And to be specific, I'm going to key in 2.5. Operation, new body, and hit OK. Moving forward, let's create the two features here. I'm going to hit R once more for rectangle. And this time, let's select this bottom planar face. Left click here. And before we create our rectangle, I prefer going to top view. So heading to our view cube, selecting top. In addition, just a personal preference, I prefer to disable under grid and snaps, I prefer to disable snap to grid and incremental move. Heading back to our model, hovering over this corner, left click here. Dimension field highlighted in blue, keying in 0.5. Hitting tab, keying in 0.63. Hitting enter. Our previous command was rectangle. So with that in mind, I can right click, head up, and select repeat two point rectangle. Adding to the bottom corner, left click here. With the dimension highlighted, I'm going to key in 0.63, hit tab, key in 0.5, hit enter. This current method is okay. Another way is I can delete this dimension since they are both same. With this profile, I can head to our constraints, select equal. This one to be the parent and the child. And lastly, I can grab our collinear constraint to have this vertical line and this vertical line collinear. Hitting escape. And from here, we can now hit E for extrude. Heading to home view. Selecting this rectangular profile and this profile. Pulling our arrow up. For the height, I'm going to key in negative 0.88 and the operation to be join. Selecting OK. Let's grab our mirror command by heading up to create, moving down and selecting mirror. The pattern type to be features and that feature is located on our timeline, selecting extrude 2. Let's activate our mirror plane. And that mirror plane is our YZ plane. So let's head to our origin folder. 
and select YZ. Compute option, let's leave this at their default and selecting OK. Heading to home view. Let's head to sketch creation once more to create the cut extrusion here. I'm going to hit L for line and let's sketch on our YZ plane. Left click. In addition, to have a better view, let's slice this. Let's enable slice. Notice I, as I hover over this area, there's no snap. So let's just left click on this area and double left click here, hit escape. And head to our constraints, scroll down, selecting coincident, selecting this endpoint and this edge this endpoint and this edge. Let's now grab our dimension, hitting D, selecting this edge and this endpoint. Left click here to place our dimension, key in 1.25, hitting enter. Let's select this edge and this endpoint. Drop our dimension here, key in 0.63, hitting enter. And finally, hit E for extrude. Under direction, let's change this to symmetric. And the operation to be cut. For measurement, let's have this at whole length. And the, the distance to be 0 0.5 plus 0.5 to be 1. And finally, hit OK. Thanks for watching. Let's level up in next month's Fusion 360 monthly challenge. This video is sponsored by MSI Workstations. Fusion 360 works smoothly with MSI Workstation. Join us in Facebook. See you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.